Hello, my amazing artist. How are we doing today? Hello. Are we ready to do some sweet treats? I am. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood for sure, isn't it? It's so windy here. So, so windy. We are going to have some fun today. And we are going to be making these cutie patootie desserts. Because I love desserts. I would eat desserts all the time. I love desserts. I also have something up my sleeve. So if you are anywhere near, you might want to bring some salt. I have some sea salt, but you could have regular salt. So just go to your pantry and pull out some salt and you might, we might use it. How cool is that? Yep, just I got something up my sleeve. Just wanted to, you know, shake things up a little bit. Okay, so if you noticed, I've gone down to two times a week because I need to start actually doing some real painting for myself. Um, yeah. So, this week we are doing ice cream cones and we are doing cool little um, cupcakes. And that is what we're going to do this week and it's at 2 o'clock and it's on Instagram and also Facebook. So, there's that. So, come back. This is what it looks like today. Alright, so figure out what your favorite ice cream is this is what we're doing on thursday yes so be ready to have some cupcake fun on thursday and let's talk about what we need in order to do this so i have and i love watercolor paper so watercolor paper is extremely hard and thick y'all hear that and it's a 140 pound paper and 140 pound paper is really hard so it holds up really well I paint everything on it and that kind of stuff but I'm running out so I uh, today think I'm going to I found this watercolor greeting cards that I have so I bought these and it is already pre-folded you can buy these at Michaels what kind of salt? It doesn't matter. Just any salt. I have regular sea salt. Um, I would have to say, and mine is fine, but if you had some coarse salt, I am not a gourmet chef. I do not do lots of fancy stuff. So, I would use coarse if that is what I was going to do. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, back to my paper. My paper is, this is a watercolor greeting cards, which it came in this, like, like this. It comes with cards like this, and it is pre-folded, so you don't have to fold it by yourself, like it'll already fold. So I think I'm going to start using these, so when I actually want to, I could start sending them out. How cool is that? Yes. So, it also comes with these envelopes, too. So, if you notice the envelopes here, y'all see that? It's frayed. This is one of the fancy things about um, fancy paper. It's called a beveled edge. So, I think I'm going to start using those for my drawings so I can start sending them out. Because, you know, everybody loves mail. So, that is what I'm going to use today. I am still going to have a practice. So, we're going to have a practice with... So, I basically halved one of those pieces of paper. And this is just one of my half sheets that we're going to actually do our lesson on. And then I'm going to draw my ice cream cone on this baby right here. My watercolor paper card. All right, and we will be doing this gorgeous thing here. Does that not just look so good that you want to eat it? Mm-hmm, yeah. 
All right. So this is a watercolor class. So this is my favorite watercolor set. It is called Angora. You see that? Angora. Angora. You can buy it on Amazon. I particularly like to buy it off of dickblick.com. That's one of my favorite art, class, art online shops. And you can have this one. This one is a 14 set. It has 14 colors. Or you can have, uh, it has a big one of 36. So I just wanted to show that you could do this with a limited amount of colors. And so that is what this is gonna be with, okay? And you're gonna need a big, a little paintbrush. So this is called a watercolor mop brush. And it is about a quarter of an inch. And it's very, very, very soft. Some people have been known to even use eye makeup brushes. Uh, if you, what the point is, is that it needs to be nice and soft and it needs to be able to absorb lots of water. So that is one of the things. So this is my favorite brush. And you're gonna need a paper towel. We've got a great little paper towel here. I've been recycling. And a pencil. Yes, I got a pencil and my eraser is really bad so one of the things i do for my eraser since it's bad is i have a something called a kneaded paint a kneaded eraser that starts with a k like you're kneading bread and it doesn't make a mess like all of those other ones do and when you are needed to be cleaned all you do is you pull it apart and it's clean not only that you can get really 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 tiny in here and that also is really really nice so i like my kneaded eraser been using it since i was nine okay so you're gonna need some water i have some water right here okay you don't need this fancy little thing here that i have uh you can just have a cup of water no big deal and I think that's all we need. Oh, we're missing one big thing. I do like to have a actual, um, what is this called? <laughs> Ink pen. Okay, so it's called a Uniball Signo pen. And it is 207 bold. And I buy these things in bulk. This is my favorite, favorite pen. And once it dries, it's completely permanent. So I like to have that on hand too. All right, so we are going to draw and make a ice cream cone. So there's a few things that we need to learn how to do in order to do this. We need to figure out how to shade things because ice cream cones, when you do the dipper, it's kind of round. So we're gonna practice that, but we also need to practice how to make this cone. And that shape right here where we start making this texture and so that's what we're going to use next all right and you know what i think we're going to use some salt while we do this practice okay so what i'm going to do is let's see if i you both can see all that yes 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 all right so i'm going to put some water on my brush first and i'm going to draw a circle with water so I've got my water on my brush and I'm coming over here and I'm gonna make a nice big old circle. Okay, so from here I'm gonna find, I think I'm just gonna go with red and I've put it in there. And do you see how it's growing? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for it to grow. And I'm just gonna dot a few of them in there Okay, so I've dot a few. I'm gonna clean my brush, which means I'm gonna wipe it off on my paper towel, all right? And I'm gonna get me some more water on there and I'm just gonna dot it. And I want you to notice how the water moves with it, right? That's pretty cool. But you see, wherever you put the water, it gets white and it pushes the paint to the edge and it's starting to make it look more rounded. So now, while it's wet, this is important, I'm gonna get me some salt, 
Yeah, just plain salt. This is sea salt, but I could use any kind of salt. Coarse is probably better than fine, but I don't think it's going to matter. And I'm going to just put some salt in there. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? The salt is eating up the paint. Yeah, I've got two cameras here, so I'm having to go back and forth. And now I'm going to leave that alone, completely alone. Just let it dry just the way it is. So that's what we're going to work with on one of our ice cream. Next, let's do another one and let's just do a round circle, okay? So I've cleaned my brush. I've got my some water. I'm going to draw my circle. And how many people like chocolate ice cream? Uh, me, me, me. So chocolate, of course, is brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me some brown on my paintbrush. And I've done my little thing of I painted with water. And I'm going to add some brown paint to this. Okay, I'm going to go all the way around in this little area. Blend it pretty good. Now you'll see I've blended it really good. All right, and when I'm done with it, y'all see how I'm actually coming to the edges and I'm doing, I'm making sure there's more water or more paint towards the bottom or one side of this object to make it look round. Okay, and I'm going to take some water now and I'm going to put it right here in the middle. And did y'all, I don't know if you could see, maybe on yours, it actually makes it move. And I'm gonna leave that just the way it is, okay? Now, this is sort of what we're gonna do on our ice cream, right? We now need to work on our ice cream cone. And we've gotta work on figuring out how to do this type of texture. So I don't want you to have a lot of water on your brush, but you might have to go in and you might have to activate your water, which I did already. I'm sorry. I don't think I told you all that, but I sprayed it with some spray water. There's nothing special about that. Just some spray water. If not, you can put water on your brush and then activate each one, but make sure between them you're cleaning off your brush on your paper towel. Okay. Cause that's important. Okay, so we're gonna work on our, what do you call that, cone. So I don't have a lot of water on my brush, but I do have a lot of paint on my brush, all right? And one of the things about watercolor is, is that it's about layers. So I'm gonna just draw this one big cone, which is nothing but a triangle. It's almost looking like a snow cone. All right, so I've got that, and I'm going to do two just because I think that that would be fun. So I have two. There you go. They're kind of light, not very special, right? All right, so the reason I did two is because I wanted this first one to dry a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in and get some more paint. Now, I have to get a little bit of water on there to get it, but for the most part, I want mostly paint instead of water. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw little triangles on this cone. Okay. I'm gonna do the same over here. So basically, I'm just doing one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, I did not go back for water on any of these. Now, I'm gonna keep talking, but I'm leaving these alone. I'm letting them rest. When I say rest, basically what I mean is that I'm letting things dry a little bit. So I'm just gonna leave those alone and I'm gonna come back here to my chocolate. 
So I want you to look at how your chocolate is drying. So I've got a lot more paint next to this edge and that's starting to really make that nice and round. And I like that. This whole, there's another little edge here happening on mine where it's drying, but the, there's a tint to it. Tint meaning a really light color to it. And that's actually working in my favor too. So that's pretty good. And with this salt area here, you're starting to see how it kind of clumps up the paint, right? It's clumping up the paint, and that is going to be great when it actually is dry. So we might not see that just yet, but that's one of our options. So now that I have wasted some time, I'm coming back down here to my little comb. And this time, I'm going to take a little bit more of that same goldy color, and I'm going to do one side all the way down. One side all the way down. And do y'all see how automatically this is starting to look 3D already? So that's the gist of how we're going to do this. We're going to do a little bit more of it with our actual comb, but that's kind of how we're going to work on that. All right, I'm going to move this off to the side so we can start drawing our ice cream. I'm moving up my salt, but I am being very careful not to mess up this salt area on this one. I'm just really carefully moving it to the side or up here at the top so it can be dried. All right, so I'm going to be making this ice cream cone. You get to choose if you want a three ice cream tier or a two or just a one. It's up to you. I am do three because, hey, why not, right? So here we go. I'm going to do it with my card. I know that's a little different than what I've been doing, but that's okay. And I am going to start drawing first. So I'm putting everything to the side so I have a clean area for my card. Now, I'm going to do it just like I do everything else. Now, this shape is just a little bit different than that first one, but that's okay. I'm still starting the same way, which is tic-tac-toe, right? So, I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to draw real lightly. Now, you may need to make this a little darker. I probably will, so you all can see. And I've made tic-tac-toe board. Y'all see that? Tic-tac-toe? Okay, so the reason I do a tic-tac-toe board is because it really helps make sure that you use the entire piece of paper. We don't want little baby ones, right? Like, I want a big ice cream cone. So, now what I want you to notice on this one right here, let's look at proportions. Proportions are how things are relating to each other. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to show you this. So if this is how big my cone is, let's look at how big my ice cream is. My ice cream cone is one cone and a little bit more, right? Did y'all see that? I picked it up and I went, oh, so that's how big I, I need to make my ice cream bigger. So when I come down here and I do this one, I'm going to make my ice cream cone just a little bit bigger than this bottom quadrant. So again, remember my ice cream cone is just a triangle. Now, does anyone notice that when I'm drawing, I don't draw one big continuous line. I drew little baby lines. Draw little baby lines because you can control them better. All right? And do you also notice that I kind of curved this area right in here? Now, chances are we're not going to be able to see this because I want my ice cream to go over the top of it, right? But that is one of my things. All right. Now we're going to draw our... This is going to tell me how big my ice cream is. So I'm going to take my fingers. I'm measuring my ice cream cone. And I'm going to come up here and go, okay. So that's about where the top... I'm adding just a little dot. 
up there to say, this is where I want the top of my ice cream cones to be. And now I need to make three ice cream scoops. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to divide this area into thirds. So I'm going to do a dot here and maybe a little dot there. That was a little big dot, wasn't it? All right. So I have one, two, three. Here's the key. When you're looking at ice cream, especially the kind old school where you got the ice cream scoop, there's always this fluffy stuff next to it, right? Where it all gathers together. So we're going to do that on each of these. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add some clumps. Like a little cloud right there. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to make a round thing. Now, do y'all see that I did not, I went on top of my little point that I put there. Now, guess what? Because that is the bottom of my second one. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little line. You see that? And I'm gonna make some clumps, clouds, whatever you wanna call them, in that area, and I'm gonna make this one go up. Now we're gonna have to erase in a minute, but that's okay. This one is gonna be the bottom of my top one. Actually, I think I might make it yeah, that works. Y'all see that? And now I'm gonna make my top one. Now, I love cherries on top. So I'm gonna add a circle and a little stem. And I now I'm going to start erasing. So I'm going to erase all of my guidelines that I had, my tic-tac-toe board, for sure. All right. You see how fine I can get that? That's why I love this. And this type of, and you see how I'm not making any mess? I don't have to and blow all of that eraser everywhere. That's what's so great about needed erasers. Okay, I think I looked them up on uh, Michael's and they were like $1.89 for something like this. It'll last you forever. Okay, here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to start erasing where my ice cream meets together. So, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to erase it. All of the inside of that. All right, because I want, when you're putting ice cream in a thing, right, you got the first one, then you put the one on top, and then you put that one on top. So, you're going to have this one on top, and then this one on top. So, we're going to erase all the stuff that's in this one, too. Okay. Now. Now, we get to decide. We've got a few more things to do here. One. We got to draw a little bit of a pattern for our, what do you call this, our ice cream cone. And I want some chocolate syrup, people. Yeah, I love me some chocolate syrup. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do, yeah, you see how I'm, I made a little bit of drips right in here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Y'all see that? So it's nice and drippy. Okay, so I've got a cherry, I've got that. Now let's come down here on our ice cream cone. And this is basically a lattice work. So the lattice is gonna be, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go, and I'm making them curved kind of like making a candy cane. 
Everybody with me? Yep. So that's one step. The second step is we got to go the opposite direction now. So this is opposite of the candy cane. So I'm going to start here in the middle one. And I'm going to just go there. And then I'm going to come in. And each one I'm connecting. You see that? I've connected this one to this one. This one to that one. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to do just like that. And that, my dears, is our ice cream cone. Sometimes they have more than this, and we could do that if we wanted to, but I think this is fine for this little card. Okay, are we ready to paint? Yeah. All right. I feel like I've got just too much lines here, so I'm just going to hit that up. Okay. Let's paint some ice cream. Now, this is a bunch of layers. So, that means that we're going to go all the way down and then we're going to go all the way back. It has to dry between the two. So, I'm going to just start. I'm going to start down here and work my way up. Because this has got a lot more layers in it than everything else. So, we're going to start with down here at the bottom. And somebody, don't let me forget about my salt. Okay. So, I'm going to start with, when I have my goldie, I have this gold color here that I really like for ice cream cones. If you don't, just use brown. It doesn't matter. You could use brown and yellow if you wanted to. You could just use brown. So, I'm getting some water on my brush, and I'm putting it in the paint, and I'm going to paint the whole thing. Now... I'm painting the whole thing and I can see, right? I can see all of my lines and I kind of want that. Where's my paper towel? Gotta have my paper towel. All right. So I've now wiped my paper on my paper towel. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to start choosing my flavors. What is your favorite kind of ice cream? Well, my favorite ice cream is chocolate. And I am going to do the bottom chocolate because, you know, when you do an ice cream, the bottom gets stuffed down there in the cone favorite part. So I'm going to go with a dark brown right now. So I'm coming into my dark brown. I have some water on my brush. I'm going into my brown and I'm going to paint this whole bottom part. I'm being real careful to leave some spots. Do y'all see how? Yeah. Nothing real special about it. I'm leaving a little bit more paint on the edges. You see how it's darker here on the edges than it is in the middle? That's kind of important. Alright, so that's one chocolate. What do we want our next one to be? I think I'm going to do strawberry next. Okay, so I've washed my brush out on my paper towel. Okay, and then I've washed it out and then I'm coming over to my water. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to get me some pink. So I've got me some red. And I'm going to paint this pink. Actually, red. Now, you might say that this is very, very red. That's true. It is. But one of the things is, is that every time you paint with watercolor, it basically lightens, right? Every time. And I want you to notice that I'm not blending these. I don't want these two to touch. Vanilla. I'm working on vanilla, Marna Jane. I'm working. I'm working on it. We could then, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to do that too. Hmm, okay. So, I've done my red which is my strawberry and i'm gonna do vanilla up here and actually i may do cookies and cream but that's okay let's just stay with me for a minute you gotta clean out your brush really good if you're gonna do this vanilla with me all right vanilla is kind of a creamy color sometimes but it's also white here's the thing you can't paint white with watercolor so how do we do it 
we have to leave and the paint. We have to use the paper as our white. So what that means is, is you have to be really careful that you don't have a lot of vanilla. You don't have a lot of paint on your brush, okay? So you do have to have some kind of color though. One of the colors that I like the most is a light blue. Okay, now that does not look light blue, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my paintbrush in the water. I'm gonna get me some blue. All right, and I'm gonna put it over here on top of my lid. All right, every time you add water to a color, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. So you can hardly tell that I have any color here. I don't even, yeah, you can a little bit on screen, but I've added like three things of water to this blue color. Now, I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to paint the sides. I'm not painting, I'm painting, I'm not painting where I'm gonna do my hot fudge. But I'm gonna do all of my sides. Anywhere I have a mark, I'm gonna do just a little bit. Okay, now, some of you are like, this is blue, that is so weird. Just hang out with me, just hang out with me. All right, so that's one. I'm still doing my first layer of everything, right? So now I get to do my hot fudge. So hot fudge, I'm going with my black. I'm going, well, brown, my dark, dark brown. And I'm gonna make sure that it's not touching anything else. I'm being a little bit more careful. Okay, now we gotta do our little cherry on top. So, of course, I'm getting me some red and I'm just gonna put a dot, big old dot right here. I'm not gonna worry about the stem yet. Okay, so we've done one whole layer. This is fantastic. We have, now we get to come back on our second layer. And our second layer, we're gonna start with our cone. Now, when remember when we were dealing with our cone earlier, I'm going to, we're gonna do this in stages, but this time we're gonna shade it first and then we're gonna add details. So, I've got some water on my brush. I'm going back into my gold color that I had, all right? Going into my gold color and I'm going to do the sides. So I did one side, I did two. I'm gonna do this bottom here. I'm gonna be careful I don't touch my brown. My chocolate, don't check my chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. I'm leaving that the way it is, okay? I'm gonna come up here to my chocolate now. So I use dark brown for my chocolate. I think I'm gonna use the next brown that I have. If you don't, just use the same color. But I kinda of want some red in there, so that's why I'm gonna go into my red brown a little bit. And I'm gonna come in and I'm only gonna work the edges. And you see when I'm adding, sometimes it's like a, I'm coming in every once in a while right there. And I'm doing real lightly around. Okay. I hope Facebook, you're still there. It said it was reconnecting. Maybe it froze. I hope you're still there. All right. So that's all I'm doing. This is a definite exercise in not overdoing things. Okay. So I'm going to come in here to my strawberry. I'm going to get me some red. And I'm going to do the same right around here. And I'm going to do a little bit right here now. And I'm going to do a little bit in the middle, but not much. Okay. Coming back to my vanilla over here. And I'm going to see it's still pretty wet because I went faster with this one, right? So one of the things I'm going to do is... I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna go straight into my, 
I want it to be completely dry before I do the next step for my vanilla. Okay, because remember, vanilla is white, so we've got to keep this as clean as possible. So we're just going to skip that one. We're going to go straight into my hot fudge up here. I'm going to take a little bit more of my red brown, and I'm coming in, and I'm adding just like that. Okay, I'm going to add another red to, actually, you know what I did? Because it was wet, I took some red off of it. Did y'all notice that? It's like an eraser, so it basically absorbed on my brush. Okay, that's pretty good though. I'm coming back down to my, are y'all with me? I hope so, I know I'm going pretty fast. One of the things I'm going to work on next is inside this right here. I'm going to spend some time with this right here. All right. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to get that dark brown a little bit. That red brownie color that I have. And what I'm going to do is in inside each one of these, I'm going to only paint half of it. Now, I'm gonna zoom in real quick so you can see what I'm doing. Let me get it in there first. I want you to pay attention. I'm not touching. I'm not touching the, what do you call those things? Pencil marks. I'm being very, very careful to be really close to not doing that. All right, and I've done half of that diamond shape, not the whole thing, just half. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to come in here. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more dark brown to... Actually, yeah, I'm going to add the dark, dark brown again. So I've got it on my brush, and I'm going to start adding it in certain places. Do you see I'm not adding it everywhere? I'm picking and choosing. I did one whole side and I did a few dots. Okay, I'm gonna come over here to my strawberries. My strawberry, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with some pink that I have. If you don't, just go with some uh, keep going with your red. But I've got pink. And I'm going to add a little bit right there. Because, you know, they have bubblegum ice cream now. And they have all kinds of it, right? Now. By the time I'm done with this, I feel like I could probably get into... I'm going to mix that just a tiny bit. I feel like I could get back into this part. I hear your salt. You know what? We could do salt on this one. That's a good idea. So this is covered with wetness right now. Remember, wetness. I'm gonna take some salt. I'm gonna be real careful to try not to get it everywhere, which is like impossible, but that's okay. And I'm going to open it. <laughs> and I'm going to drop it right on that right there. I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see it. Stay with me, Instagram. But I'm coming in and I'm coming in. Do y'all see how it's already starting to suck up some of that water? That's what's so fun about this. All right, we can't touch the strawberry anymore now. I'm gonna come up to the top part of here and I'm gonna get that little gold color. You know what I might do is I might get some water on my brush and bring it down here to my uh, lid so I can make it lighter. And I'm just gonna add a few more. Now this could make it green. That's why I want you to be very sparingly. I don't want a whole lot. But you know, vanilla bean gets really nice in there but we just have to have enough color in there that it looks like we've got some folds and stuff like that 
Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I still want a darker chocolate and I still want a darker I'm coming in with my red and I'm just adding one side. I'm going to come over to my chocolate in here. And I have more paint on my brush right now than I do water. That's why I'm getting such hard colors. Hard colors, that's not right. Potent. How's that? Potent colors. Pigmented. Okay. I think I'm going to come back down here to this part right here. Now, how many of you, I'm going to add, I'm going to get some of that little brown color, and I'm coming in one side, and I'm painting over everything I just did right there. And it's kind of blending, but not. Just on one side. <laughs> Kathleen says that her chocolate spilled everywhere. Honey, I would love chocolate anywhere. That is what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm going to give this a rest. Okay? So, one of the things I did when I wanted to give myself a rest was I decided to do some little hearts and little confettis. So, you could do whatever you want. You could make little confettis or you could make little hearts. I'm going to make little hearts. So, what I'm going to do here, I need to stop saying so. All right, I'm going to take me some blue. And in order to do hearts really fast, it's just, I let the brush do my work for me. And so, I'm kind of doing a half of an X. And they're meeting down here at the bottom. And, you know, if you were really good with handwriting, you could say, you're the sweetest. Hmm. Or you could say something about, you're a sweetie pie. Or, I'm melting for you. Wow. I just got really dorky really fast. And, uh, yeah. This is my third class today. Who knows what's coming out of my mouth at this rate. <laughs> okay, so I'm adding all of these little hearts just to make something fun. We normally paint the whole thing, right? Well, I wanted to start doing a little differently because I think we need to start learning how to control how much water we have on our brush. And doing dots in a pattern like this is a definitely good way to learn, oh, that's too much water, oh, that's too hard, and that kind of thing. Now, you can make as many or as little as you want. You could even do it in different colors, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to do just one. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm going to move this to the side real quick, and I want to check on what we did over here. So, you all can keep painting if you want, but I wanted to show you all this. So, I'm going to zoom in. I'll be right there, Instagram. So, I want you to see what the salt looks like. Close up and dry. And now, what I'm going to do is I've got to move it over here next to my garbage because I don't want it to go everywhere. All right. So, that's not going to work because it's stuck. So, I'm going to come here and I'm going to actually sit here real lightly. And I'm moving it. Now, I'm making a mess. My next painting will have salt on it. I'm blowing it and I'm showing. So, I want you to see the texture that it makes. Everywhere there's a little crystal, it has sucked up some of the water and the color. So, it leaves little bits of white space. It's a really neat way to add texture to your piece for sure. So that is just, we might do another big project with salt.
in the future, but I wanted to just show that that was done. So see this whole little area right here? This is where the salt was. Isn't that neat? It's one of my favorites. All right, so I'm coming back over here to this. I'm looking, is there anything else I wanna add? Not really. If anybody has any questions, speak now or forever hold your peace. But the next step I'm gonna do is my outline. All right, so with my outline, what I'm gonna do is come here. Now, I'm not messing with this salt yet on my strawberry. You know, if you wanted to do cookies and cream or something, what you could do is you could add little flecks of it. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do down here is I'm gonna just do like little top triangles to kind of show that there's some kind of pattern down there. And now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna make it messy. This is a key. If you're doing it really nice and neat and everything and you mess up, uh-oh. But if you do it messy on the first place like this, sketchy, I shouldn't call it messy. Maybe I should call it sketchy. Being careful not to mess up my salt there, okay? It looks like you did it on purpose. And we are doing it on purpose, aren't we? So I'm coming in here. You see, you got to, when you're doing the vanilla, you have to do less. Less is more, right? So I'm coming in and I'm gonna work on a little bit of my chocolate. Doing a little bit of my cherry do you see how i made that dip right there in that cherry because that's where the stem comes out okay i like it i like it a lot now because i like swooshes and twisties yeah everyone's going like what are you talking about but you all know this i like little whooshes i like little twirly cues it makes it fun it makes it fun all right and that my dears is my ice cream cone. And I'm gonna add my name down here at the bottom, my initials. And there you go, that's my ice cream. Now, I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Actually, since I got a few minutes, I'm gonna hit it with a dryer real quick. So this tool is called a heat tool. Heat it tool from Ranger. Ranger meaning that's the brand. You can buy it at Michael's. You can buy it at, I think I've seen it at Hobby Lobby before. But you can also buy it at, um, online. I think I bought mine on Amazon. All right. That's pretty dry. Yep. I'm going to flick off this salt. And you see what it looks see that's where it sucked up all that water and all that paint I'm gonna have to wash this aren't I and just like that I have little dots in this now since I've done that I think I want to add extra dots because I'm just feeling more dots happy I'm gonna add strawberry chunks you see that so I came in and I got an actual smaller brush this time. And I'm just coming in and I'm adding some dots. Oh, now doesn't that look cute? <laughs> Gotta do it random though. Okay. You know, I could add extra chocolate chunks to this one over here. You know, who doesn't love like extra moose tracks, right? Mm, yeah. So I'm just gonna add a few extra dark chunks in here. And that, my ladies and gentlemen, is our ice cream cone. I will be back on Thursday and we will be doing these awesome cupcakes. Because who doesn't want a cupcake? All right, guys. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. I would love to see these. So, see.
send them to me. Put them in the comments. I would love to see them. I will see you on Tuesday. Have a great Wednesday and the rest of to do. Well, today is Tuesday, right? So I will talk to you all later. And here you go. That's what we did. I did an uh-oh down here. I'm going to have to fix it. Okay, any questions? Thank you, Kathleen. I'm so glad you could join us. And I will talk to Marnie Jane. I want to see what y'all did. I know that you're there watching. Okay. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Same time on Thursday, Stacy. It's at 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. So it's Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. Bye, guys.